We're going to move on, but keep in back in your mind Dilworth's theorem. We don't know how to do it. We know it's true. We just don't know how to implement it. All right, cover graphs. We've talked about cover graphs, but we talked about them forwards. Given a poset, you can associate with a poset a cover graph. So I can turn the issue around. <laughs> Given a graph, I can ask, is it a cover graph? So if I were to give you the graph on the right and ask you, is it a cover graph? Well, you know the answer. The answer is yes. And the poset on the left has the graph on the right as its cover graph. So I can just give you a graph, the data for a graph, and then ask you, is this a cover graph? Sometimes the answer will be yes. Sometimes the answer will be no. And so it is very natural to ask, how hard is it to answer this question? The question is, given a graph, is it a cover graph? How hard is this to answer? Now, we observe that this problem is in the class NP. And we haven't been completely formal about what is the class NP, except I've told you that these are the problems, the yes-no problems, for which if you answer yes, you can produce a certificate for your yes answer. And that certificate can be verified by a referee. So does a graph have a Hamiltonian cycle, yes or no? If you say yes, you don't have to explain how you found the Hamiltonian cycle. You just have to explain what are the vertices that you should visit in order to produce the cycle. And a referee can check whether that's correct. So if you say yes to the question that a given graph is a cover graph, your certificate is the data for a poset. And then a referee takes a data for the poset and determines its cover graph. That's easy. You just find all the covers. So you find all the comparabilities, A less than B, and make sure that there's nothing in between. So is there a C with A less than C less than B? If yes, throw it away. But you quickly find the covers. And now, are the edges in the graph the covers of the poset? Yes or no? And the referee checks it and says, no, actually, you're right. You never have to explain how you found the poset. You just have to give the certificate. So the question, is G a cover graph, is in the class NP. So you can provide a certificate for a yes answer. But for a no answer, you're, you're kind of stuck. You can say, I tried hard to find one, but I couldn't find one. And I don't think you can either. But that, as we've said several times now, that's not very compelling. Now, there will be special cases where you can say, no, this graph is not a cover graph. So for example, does a cover graph ever have a triangle? Does a cover graph ever have a triangle? So if you have A less than B and B less than C, do you ever see this edge in the diagram? No. So if you give me a graph and it has a triangle in it, I can say definitively, this graph is not a cover graph. But if you give me a graph which does not have a triangle in it, I don't have a method for determining whether or not it's a cover graph. Hmm. Don't work at it. We think this is a very hard problem. In 1993, two groups of researchers, Graham Brightwell in England and Yarek Nesetril and Wojta Rydl in the Czech Republic, each published proofs that the question, is G a cover graph, is NP complete? So if you find an efficient algorithm 
for testing whether or not a graph is a cover graph, you have solved P equals NP. You're a million bucks richer. You're famous. Don't forget to tell me about it in advance and all that stuff. So I, I, I want you to know that this problem is hard. I'm, I'm not in any way encouraging you to work on it. In fact, it's quite the opposite. I'm saying don't work on it. Just tuck it away in the back of your head that determining whether or not a graph is a cover graph is a very hard problem. And of course, my phrase, at least we think so, uh, is rooted in the idea that everybody, well, not everybody, most people believe that P is not equal to NP. Okay. <clears throat> 